What's up guys and welcome back to One Life Cars. You join me today in front of the Vauxhall Corsa C for a quick tutorial on how to remove and replace the rear exhaust box or your rear silencer as some of you might know it. Dead simple job, you only really need a couple of tools and a can of grease would be useful, a can of WD-40, anything like that. First thing you want to do is get the car jacked up. I've got this on ramps today. Make sure if you're using jacks, you use axle stands get it up and secure so it's safe to go under and then I'll rejoin you at the back of the car and show you guys how to remove and replace the rear silencer on the Vauxhall Corsa C. Let's go. All right guys once you've got the car up and off the ground I'm gonna head underneath and for those of you who don't know this bit here sticking out the back is your exhaust and this is the rear box or the rear silencer. It's dead easy on this if you sort of get right underneath it, where this big sort of back girder is across the back, uh, you'll see a clamp somewhere around this area. So there'll be a bit of pipe coming off the back of the box. And at some point it should split with a clamp like this. It might be a different style clamp, but there'll be a clamp of some sort. I'll show you guys now why we're changing this one. You can see that it's seeing better days and it's leaking all sorts and you can hear it popping and spluttering when the car starts. So yeah, get this off today and get it swapped out for a new one. All right, so the first thing you want to do guys is get a bit of grease on all this, on these bolts and crack them off with a 13 mil spanner or a socket set. You need a socket set, maybe get an extension bar down here so you can do it down here out the way. Or I've got these flexi head ratchet spanners, which are really good, these. So useful. They're not expensive tools either. So only a cheapo mate one. Get it in the back there and crack the nut. I have already cracked these because it's so awkward to try and crack a tight nut while you're filming. So I always sort of crack the nuts before I start filming and then show you is this bit. So yeah, they'll be a lot tighter than uh, I've just made out. But you can do that. That's where the flexi spanner comes in good for little bits like that. And then I've already done that, but you get the idea. It's a 13 mil. Those of you who didn't get that, 13 mil nut. And then you can undo the clamp like so. I always find we're doing these exhausts. It's not undoing this bit. That's the hard bit. The hard bit is splitting the two pipes because you can see the corrosion levels. They get so corroded together. Well, as you can see, they are two separate pipes and they will come apart a part of a bit of persuasion but next thing you need to do before that is look at these rubbers so you should have two bits of metal coming off the back box in a couple of places and then there'll be a little little arm like going into one of these rubbers now luckily on this car they're really old and loose and it should come out dead easy but in some they can be really tight so i normally like I'll leather these with grease and sometimes you have to get a flat screwdriver in the rubber to help prise it out a bit but in this I'm literally I might even be able to do it now with one on while I'm filming because of that loose yeah I can so there's one out just by a bit of persuasion obviously be careful not to drop it on your head and if the rubber does go flying like that just did and just over there Make sure to grab that because you will need that. I mean, if you're changing out a back box and the rubbers are that easy, like I've just done it with one hand while I'm filming the video, you do want to get new ones. I know for a fact you can get them off Euro car parts for about 80p a rubber. They, they are cheap. So it's worth just replacing them. And it'll stop the exhaust from rattling about while you're driving as well, which is annoying. Can I do it twice? Yep. And that's you. That's the back box now. Oh no, there's another one here. Sorry guys, there's three, three rubbers. So you've got two at the front, or the very back, should I say, of the back box, and one that's on its own back there. That's the first one I did. But again, it's really loose. A bit more awkward this with one hand because of where it's positioned. So bear with me with my dodgy film in a second. But I'll pull it off. 
that's that one off and now it's hanging on that you don't really want to let it hang too much on that i mean i'm not too bothered with this because the whole exhaust system is knackered the whole thing needs to be but now i'm just going to get two hands on the exhaust and sort of try and work it loose i'll try and leave the camera on while i do that so you can see a bit what's going on I don't know how much of that you just saw when I put the camera down but the old thing's literally bending it's gonna snap there so if I'm gonna put the camera down in a minute and deal with this mess of rust get it out try not to get rusting your eyes too because that's not nice it put me in eye hospital will not and uh, I might just snap this off then prise the pipe up at the end. It's a mess, it's all just falling apart in my hands. But yeah, you get the idea. So get the, the box off and any excess bits of rusty pipe off there. And then we'll look at cleaning the end of that pipe up before we put the new box on. Right guys, I've had a bit of a fight with this one. So as you can see here, the can itself, here's the back box off the car, has split completely. It was that corroded from the pipe. I mean, if you look in there, you can just see how rotten the inside of it is. I've seen better days. So, obviously, that's off and out of the way. But this bit of pipe's still on. As you can see, I've already I've got it off a bit of the way. You can see there where I've prized it off. I've just been banging it with a flat screwdriver and a hammer from sort of that way, you know, to push it back towards me, you know. And try and manoeuvre it as best as possible it's really stiff that I'm getting it off a bit of perseverance and it will come off now at this point normally I'd pull the new back box in and I'd stick the new pipe onto this after cleaning this up then we'd get our clamp either a new clamp or you could reuse this it's a bit seen better days it's a bit rusty but it does work still and we'd tighten that back up with our 13 mil socket Obviously, after the knee back box is mounted on to so the rubbers, you just literally hang your, your rubbers like that and then hang your knee back box straight into them. Remember, there's one, two on the front, and then that one back there. Uh, and then tighten up your clamp, and that's it. Your knee back box is reinstalled. Fortunately, I don't have access to the new one right today. I can't get it now to finish this video with. So, we're going to have to use it your imagination a bit, guys. So imagine your new back box is here, <laughs> new rubbers are on, like I say, if the rubbers are a bit too slack and you've got a lot of rattling coming from under the car, it's definitely worth changing them. The new ones are only about 80p each. But yeah, I'm sorry about to end it like this, it's a bit awkward, but there's no point dragging it out too much because I can't show you the new box on today. What I will do is though, in the next video we do when the new box is on, on something else, I think it's going to be a clutch, not a clutch, a handbrake cable next. So I'll show you the new box on as part of that video. So keep an eye out for the handbrake cable video where you'll get to see the back box finish, but you get the idea of how to take it off and replace it. So I hope you still found this video useful guys. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here and you like these sort of car tutorial videos, uh, hit that subscribe button and join the One Life family. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching and until next time, peace.